Hi, Storm Shadow. Hi, Storm Shadow. Our old friend. Hello, Storm Shadow, my old friend. I told him he, that, that this happens, and he just laughs at me. He's like, yep, that's what I do. I would totally invade your stream. He's like, I am just joining in the crowd. Play Fallout. <clears throat> like, I am just enjoying the... Join the, the time there. I have a boulder! Oh, and it's Nimrod! <laughs> Nimrod. That's actually what he was called. I'm not kidding. Oh. Stop pausing the game. Pausing won't save us. <laughs> I... Nimrod is the future Sentinel. If you don't know who he is. He's basically like, um, if you've seen Days of Future Past, those Sentinels that were based off of Mystique's DNA, right? that's Nimrod. Where he's more of a bio-organic Sentinel. Ow! Fine. Oh, I just realized I could be making like a, ton, a dozen bump jokes right now. Uh, what are you doing that, bub? Bub. Okay, and this is Kitty. Yeah! So yeah, this is Kitty Pride. You must rescue the professor. Don't worry, Kitty. We're on it. Which is funny because, like, later on, I don't think she ever came back to the X-Men. Uh, till... Probably the Ultimate Universe. Like, the... Like, X-Men Evolution had her back, but there was actually a long time where Kitty Pride actually worked for the European X-Men, Excalibur! <laughs> I just jumped off the cliff. Yes, you did. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? There's a cliff in an arcade game. And you apparently inflated our score. Good for you. In a side-scrolling beat-em-up. There's actually pit, bottomless pits. Oh, there are. You have to be careful. This is Konami we're talking about. Konami still tried to make things hard back in the day. Die! Kick him when he's down. Take care of these guys. Move on! Oh, no. Elevator! The white queen welcomes you to die. I am a frost. Ow! I think she kicked me in the nuts and killed me. Hey, your mutants need work on your grammar. Yeah, can I just point out for the record, this is the glory of uh, the Linkar, what I call the, I like to call the Linkar equation. Because White Queen is a villain, and the more evil you are, or however many uh, Mega Hitlers you have to your name, the hotter you get. And therefore, with women, it is you must take off more clothes, and for men, it is you must put on more clothes. <laughs> it's true. Well, because the White Queen is the perfect example of this, and a lot of people got mad at the, uh, the first class perception. It's accurate, people. That's, that's who Emma Frost was. Which is weird, because now she is Welcome going to, to die. die. Yeah, I, I, I hate to tell you this, guys, but it is actually accurate to Emma Frost. This is, that's what she wore. She did walk around like a walking Victoria's Secret. Awesome. <laughs> well, in the case of the guys, I mean, we all were. Yeah. Wolverine. Oh, and, and the girls who are hot for other girls. That too. So, it's a win-win. If we if we have any in our audience that are, then, then we would love to hear you guys out. Yeah. Do you Tell us, uh, girls who are into girls, do you find the white, cre white queen attractive? Or do you find black queen attractive? Because she wore less clothes. <laughs> yes, so. there was actually a counter... Um, if you've seen the 90s X-Men cartoon, the Dark Phoenix Saga tried to refer to her because they had to, they tried to have Jean Grey in a similar outfit that the Black Queen has done, but the Black Queen has worn way less. Okay, 
this is where I've got to call the line here. These are guys who are literally melded to tanks. That can't have been a fun process. Cyclops. Cyclops. So they cut off their legs and melded them to tanks. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to ruin your disbelief here, people, but... By the way, this it's the Juggernaut, bitch! Uh, okay. Maybe in the 80s he did this, but I don't remember when Juggernaut actually used a rocket launcher. He's the ju like you just said, he's the Juggernaut, bitch. He doesn't need no stinking rocket launcher. He can take one. Oh, oh, no, we don't have a telepath! We can officially knock him out! Because the only way to take care of Juggernaut is psionic attacks! Ow. Nightcrawler. Ow. Oh, come on, you are blinking pretty dang fears. You could die now. Welcome to die already. You're welcome to die, Juggernaut. Well, we just made our way through the ancient ruins. X-Men, nice job. Magneto is over there. Follow me. Okay, we'll follow you. Except you had to teleport. Yep, I had to teleport a couple of feet. <laughs> Hi, Mystique! You fell into our trap. That's another outfit I love that, that they've never done in the movies. The, the white dress with the skull belt. Hi, White Sentinel. Ow, you threw him in the knee. Oh, God, I fell off. I threw him into you? What? Yeah, you threw the Sentinel in the knee. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can throw people, but... Well, something... I didn't realize there was a Mode B activated in this game. There's too many. Ah! We can't. I, I hate to go with the Star Wars quote, but we can't shake him, Alex. We can't shake him. <laughs> I can't shake him. No! Get rid of that thing. Well done, Nightcrawler. I think that's pretty close to what his voice was in the '80s. Scott Summers voice. Yeah, Scott Summers. <laughs> I, I hate to say this, but like, nothing against, uh, what, who was it, James Marsden who played him I think. in the X-Men movies? Right. Um, nothing against James Marsden, but playing Cyclops doesn't take a whole lot of effort. He's, like, you could get your average everyday dude to play him. Oh, dude, only pyro clones! Okay, they got mutant powers. Oh no, does that mean we're gonna get clones of every single boss? Awesome. Wonderful. Are we actually going to the tomb of Apocalypse? I don't remember this happening, people. Are we going to the shrine of the silver monkey? The shrine. Yeah, exactly. The shrine of the silver monkey. Do we know a release date for that no. uh, TV movie? No. We don't. I, at least it's on Nickelodeon, though, yeah. right? It's Nickelodeon doing it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that makes me laugh. Okay, so two of them are dead. Now we just gotta kill Goldie. We gotta kill Gold. 
Egyptian dude! Ow. Ow. And people might be confused with the power that Wolverine is using. No, he never had blasts that came out of its claws. That's just something the arcade game decided to do. So yeah, people might notice I can do that. No, Wolverine has never been able to do that. Well, this game's called X-Men. Shouldn't it be called X-People? Kind of sexist, isn't it? Magneto is planning to attack Earth from his asteroid base. You must foil his plan before it's too late. Go after the giant sentinel. And now it's time for us to go to Asteroid M. Yep, we are on the moon. We do not have any kind of space gear. Oh, well, we're not on the moon, we're on an asteroid. We're, we're, well, we're on the asteroid, but at the same time, we're not wearing oxygen tanks. Batman can breathe in space. I'm Batman. I can breathe in space. Oh. I think we Kara made that joke, didn't he? Yeah. I thought so. It was uh, Amazon's attack. Right. I just, yeah, I should know because I just watched through those. Ow. Bees. My god. A deadly bee weapon. Bees. My god. Which is funny because, like, his Channel Awesome co produced or his fellow producers on Channel Awesome, reference that joke more than Linkara does. It's true. Well, it's like Linkara says, it's just like, there's not a lot of situations where bees come up in comics. Ow. Still, my favorite has to be, like, when Mike J actually went out of his way to avoid it. It's like, no, I'm not going to make a bees, my god, Joe. Wolverine! And hi, Blob! Hi, Wendigo! Wendigo! Wendigo. And White Queen! <laughs> All Man together! And bomb. Man and Bomb! Let's just spam our guns. Uh, we must be near the end, because... Yeah, we're... I mean, if we're having to fight all three of these mutants at once, Well, then... this feels Final Boss territory ish. Wendigo! He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> he just says his name. Ah! Oh, hi, Nimrod. Hi, Juggernaut! Yeah, we are on the last level. Yay, infinite hey, credits! Look, it's, it's Professor X! So, are we saying that this one could be a, an imposter? Maybe it's Mystique again. It could be. X Men, why could you seriously be fooled by Mystique? She's fooled you only like a dozen times before. Cyclops. Just, just pelt him with mutant powers at this point. Hi, Master of Magnet. It's Magneto. Oh, I think we, I think we cut off his. We didn't get the other one. I am Magneto, Master of Magnet. Ow. F you. People will notice I'm dying a lot, and it's just because I'm using the mutant powers of the bosses. <laughs> oh, it's just Mystique. Okay, maybe we didn't miss it. Alas. That was Mystique, not Magneto. Magneto is in another place. Go, X-Men! Go, X-Men! I am Magneto, Master of Magnet! Alright, cool! We got the quote! But you don't sound anything like Ian McKellen. Or Michael Fassbender. You are starting to think this game is not a true representation. You are you do realize that there's like a dozen other people. I think even Miss, uh, I think even Stephen Bloom has played Magneto. Uh, yeah, I think he has actually. He's also played Lord Zed. Who's that? He's also played Lord Zed. You are. He has. Kill you, Pump X Chicken. Die. 
Did we just got called X chickens? Yeah. Apparently so. She did. Oh no, we need to get him out of the barrier. You are no get him out of the bubble. He's blinking! He's blinking! Come on, we all had to have screamed that in the arcade at one point. He's like, he's blinking! We can't give up now! And we all died just so much. Insert 25 cents. But we keep on doing it. Can you imagine? It's like we have, an endless, it's like we have day jobs and we have an endless supply of quarters. <laughs> Can you imagine if when when you died near and continue, it'll say insert quarter here. Uh, they actually, you, if you want the classic arcade mode, I think it does say that, but instead it says credits, which is another term that would get used for the version. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be funny. It'd be like, it makes you feel like you're actually. I think there are some games that do that. They will still say insert token, but you just press start and back in the game. All right, I can. Oh, dude, he is literally. He's. Ha! Huh, we did it, X Men. We did. Uh, and it's time for us to get out of here. Oh no! It's blowing up! Ah! <sighs> Magneto is defeated. X Men succeed to rescue Professor and return to Earth with victory. With a victory, but still, the battle against the thread. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, the game is not over yet. Chief oh, producer and director. That is literally it, people. That is X-Men, the arcade game. Uh, the game says it's not over yet. I know, I know. But, but final thoughts on X-Men, the arcade game. Now that you've been able to play it, you've been able to experience the uh, the memes that we've been referencing for who knows how many years now, Alex? Oh. Oh, so he has no thoughts on the map. Andrea, your final thoughts on X-Men, the arcade game. It wasn't fun for... Uh, arcade games. Sometimes you wish it was longer. Oh, I well, mean, it's arcade games. They're not very long. They're True, <laughs> but then you wonder how come is it if you play it in an actual actually, arcade, it, how come you can never actually... Look at it this way, Andrea. <laughs> you literally probably would have spent about $20 in quarters yeah. getting through what what's right here. True. We, we gamed over a lot, so if the, we weren't playing like with the easy mode on, we would have definitely... <laughs> Had yep. to pump in a lot of cash if this was actual true hardcore arcade. Yeah. So, Alex, your final thoughts on X Men the arcade game? That was fun. I love a good. I love a good simple beat 'em up. Okay. So basically, the game will repeat itself. Um, the game is such a so over. really quick, I actually just want to change this. So bail out of the mission. Yes. Um. Here we go. We'll show off these characters. My final thoughts are obviously I love oh. it. I still love. Oh, this I game. see. Wait. Yeah, actually. you can you can do change character. Yeah, so, I get it now. But I think oh, and you just exit us out. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to. So okay, bring it back up really quick just to show off the other characters. I'll pick uh, Colossus. I'll do Dazzler. Dazzler. And then we have Storm. Cyclops. We'll show these off really quick. Storm. I obviously love this game and will continue to love it just to play it. We hey, got... look! It's that one mutant from the Deadpool movie. <laughs> All right, get ready for it, people. Which one, Dazzler? I can't... <laughs> okay, quit hogging the action. <laughs> of course, I don't like how you lose health by doing your super. Powers. Well, they had to. They had to penalize you somehow. True. So you wouldn't just spam the button. True. Because, I mean, if you're going to play an X-Men game, you're going to abuse mutant powers. Because that's what you want to do. You want to just do the mutant powers all the time. Oh, man. Colossus is just kind of a big boom. And there you go. That storms mutant power. She just falls up a whirlwind. And has... Uh, Andrea, have you done Dazzler's power? I'm not I'm Dazzler. Dazzler. Oh, you're Dazzler. Okay. Andrea's Storm. And that's... Okay, that's the Dazzler power. Dazzler, again, is very similar to, to Jubilee. What is her power, officially? Jubilee's power? Or, and Dazzler. Uh, I don't know how they classify it with Dazzler, but Jubilee, it's like you can conjure up fireworks. I see. 
Sorry guys, I had to do it. There you go, we've, we've met our internet meme status. I think we'll get to Pyro and then we'll, we'll be done for this Let's Play, but... That way people can... Can get uh, the other mutants, or the other characters. They're storing the swimsuit model. <laughs> the one that, that people constantly reference to me is like the greatest outfit she's ever had. No, it really isn't. I think it's kind of sexy. It doesn't. At least not for me. But then again, I don't like I don't go to the sexy character. For there we go. <gasps> Besides, I actually, again, I think the silver outfit is a lot better in that factor, too. Yay! Oh, well. Okay, so... That's going to go ahead and do it for this Let's Play of X-Men the Arcade Game. We hope you guys have appreciated and loved it. And that is our special Let's Play for the month of May. You guys can look forward to another Let's Play in June, where we got to dip back into the Castlevania, Alex. It's time. But this time... We're starting off on a console that you know all too well. Yeah. But in the meantime, we'll see you next time.